Alright everyone, so we're going over a routine that can improve your bowl control in as little as 10 minutes each and every day. So we're starting off with juggling. Uh, we're not doing too much of this, just a minute of juggling to get a few touches on the ball and get warmed up a little bit. So just do about a minute of juggling both feet. You can uh, also just do it on one foot like this and then you'll switch to the other and so on. But we're just going to do this for a minute to get um, a lot of touches on the ball and get us ready for the next couple of drills that we're going to do. Also notice that I'm doing this in my driveway. You don't need a lot of space for this, uh, but you are going to need a wall. So this first one we're going to do is you're going to hit it against the wall and then control it with the top of your foot down to your feet, flick it back up against the wall. And you're going to do this 10 times each foot. Okay, so you know you want to cushion the ball down to your uh, feet. Uh, you want to take as few touches as possible. Try and get it down in one. If it takes more than one, it's fine. Uh, and keep going. Now an important thing when doing this is only count reps that are good. If you take a bad touch or a touch you're not happy with, don't count it towards your 10 reps, okay? You only want to be counting good touches. Um, that's the way you're going to improve. So now I'm doing my left foot, just hitting it up bringing it down nicely. So you are gonna need a wall for this, like I said, but that shouldn't be too much trouble. Um, again, like I've always mentioned, kicking against a wall is such an incredible way to improve, and you'll get a good glimpse of that during this routine here. And don't worry if you mess up at any point. There are a few times in this that I mess up. Just keep going, don't get too frustrated, and you'll get better at this um, the more you work on it, but it's very important to be getting a lot of touches. So now we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to use the inside of our feet. Um, I actually find this one a little more difficult. Um, using the side of your foot is usually easier for certain things like passing and volleying and things of that nature. I personally prefer to bring the ball down with the top of my foot, but it's very important to learn uh, and practice using the inside of your foot to bring the ball down because you'll definitely find yourself in situations in matches when you're going to need to do this. So it's the same again. We're going to do 10 reps with the inside of our right foot and then 10 with the left. Remember, only count the good ones if you take a bad touch or the ball doesn't come to you um, uh, or bounces before it gets to your foot. Just do it again. It's fine. It's okay if you do more than 10 reps. Um, just make sure that you're getting 10 good reps in with your left and 10 good reps with your right. That's what's important. You want good touches. Don't count bad touches because then you'll just get good at doing this poorly and we don't want to be doing that. So as you can see, I'm just taking delicate touches then playing it right back against the wall. Nothing fancy about this at all. Just repetition after repetition after repetition. Okay, so now we're doing the same thing for the outside of our foot. Now this is going to probably, for most of you, be the most difficult of the three. Um, but don't worry about it. Keep at it. You will get better at this as you practice it. This was my trouble area when it came to ball control for the longest time. I couldn't, for the life of me, trap it with the outside of my foot um, out of the air. Um, but since practicing, uh, I practiced it a lot when I was a kid and when I was younger. And... Uh, behold, I'm now pretty good at it. So it just takes practice. So even if you're messing up every single thing, like there you go, I just messed up right there. Even if you're messing up every single rep, uh, don't worry, just keep doing it. You will get better at it, okay? Um, everyone messes up, everyone makes mistakes, everyone takes a bad touch every now and then, it's okay. Now, it is very important that you're using both feet, um, like I've sh been showing you in this whole thing. Do not skip this part. Um, you need to start getting good with both of your feet. If you're not already at that point, um, you need to start. I don't care how bad your weak foot is, you need to start somewhere. I know it's going to suck at first. I know you're not going to be that good with it at first, but you got to do it, all right? It's, that's how you're going to improve. You're going to need your weak foot. The amount of goals I've scored using my weak foot, the amount of good touches, the amount of times I've been able to set myself up with my good foot have been numerous, so you need to get that under control. Okay, so the last thing we're doing is a bit interesting. For five minutes, we're going to just try and keep the ball in the air against the wall. So you can see I'm not letting the ball touch the ground. So use all of, um, I did let it touch there, so don't worry if you make mistakes, just keep going. Um, but what you're gonna try and do is keep it for as long as you can in the air. You can take as many touches as you want. Don't take too many. Just keep it in the air, hit it back against the wall and keep it in the air. And use all of the techniques that we've gone over so far to keep it in the air, outside, inside, and top of your foot in order to control it. So we're bringing everything together. You're gonna do this for five minutes and this is gonna be great for your ball control. This drill alone, just trying to hit it back against the wall is gonna be great. 
Now, if we can all take a moment of silence for my uh, GoPro, which is just being kicked in the face, I would very much appreciate it. All right, guys, just some important points when you're doing this. Um, this does not have to take long. This will take you about 10 minutes, especially when you get good at it. Um, this is something, this is one of the routines I sometimes do in the morning. Um, I usually do a few more things, a few dribbling things as well, but I'll, I usually do these things as well. Um, an important thing is also you need to be doing this consistency, uh, consistency. You need to be doing it consistently if you want to see improvements. You won't see improvements if you just do it once a week or once every now and then. Uh, you need to be doing it consistently. So I think all of you have at least 10 to like 20 minutes each and every day to do this kind of drill. Uh, so just keep doing it. It's going to work on every single part of your foot, getting good control, and then we do full body at the end, bringing it all together so you can express yourself a little more and use all of your body in order to control the ball. Okay, guys, this can be very, very powerful if you do it every single day, and you will see massive improvements if you do. All right, guys, so thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and that share button, and also check out the two other videos I have here. Um, if you want to learn more about ball control and get better touch and all that. Also, guys, join me on Habitica.com. There will be a link in the description if you want to take the challenge for this routine. And what Habitica.com uh, is, is it's a game uh, that actually follows your life around. So basically, it's a ha habits game where you can develop habits. And when you do your habits, you get rewarded. And when you don't, you get punished in the game. And there's also a Simply Soccer group on there which would be great if you could be a part of it. We have a community on there that help each other stick to their habits. We issue challenges. I'm going to be issuing a lot of challenges in the future, so make sure you check that out. If you're new to Simply Soccer, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, we you know, release videos every single week designed to help you improve as a soccer player, so I would love to see you join our team. All right, guys, thank you very much. Do this routine often if you want to see improvements in this area, and I'll see you on the next video.